Hey guys, so today we're going to be making calzones, veggie calzones, and it's something I've been wanting to do for such a long time. Every time I go to IKEA and I've been shopping and everything, I really just want to go get a calzone. I think they taste amazing. So today I finally thought to myself, let's try and make some, and I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, because that's always nice, I think. So if you enjoy this video, which I of course hope you do, please leave a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, there's a red button down there. I'm so, so close to 100,000. It's insane. So if you want to show me some support and love, there is a red button down there. And let's just get into it. I've written down my recipe in this recipe book. And I'll have the recipe on my blog, there will be a link down below. First of all, find yourself a bowl. And you're also gonna need some yeast. After that, I found the water that I needed. And I warmed it up just a little bit in the microwave. But make sure that it's not too warm, it's really important. Otherwise it's gonna kill your yeast. And then I just put the yeast into the water. It was now time to put in the rest of the ingredients. I found some oil, some salt and my flour and I decided to use durum flour because that's my favorite but really you can just use a normal flour if that's what you prefer. It was now time to get my hands dirty and this is a really important part of the process because it's now you're gonna make the dough really nice. Um, so wash your hands and get your hands in there and we are gonna see some amazing results. So far it looks really good I think. Now it's just time to let it rest for half an hour and then we can continue what we were doing. And while you're waiting for the dough to rest for half an hour, you can do something you like. In the meantime, I decided to just play on my ukulele a bit. And I played the music you can hear in the background. So... After half an hour, it was about time to start forming the calzones. And it is like your decision how big you want them. Mine turned out like pretty big, but... I think it was a nice size, but it's still it's something you decide. I decided to put cheese, some tomato and some oregano, oregano, <laughs> oregano um, in my calzones, but it's totally up to you. You can also add anything else that you would like in your calzone. When you put on the topping that you would like, remember to leave some space around the corner for like when you close it. Just remember that, but just put in the topping that you want and the amount that you want. It is now time to close the calzone. You take the side where there isn't topping on it and put it over the side with the topping. And what I did is that I used a knife to just print press down the edges a bit, um, but you can also just use a finger. I put a tiny bit of oil over mine and also some flour and after that they were ready to get into the oven. I think I gave them about 10 to 15 minutes, but keep an eye on them because it all depends on the size of them and the oven. So. And here they came out of the oven and I think they look delicious. So that was it. They're done and I think they look amazing. I just decided to slice one up just to see how they look on the inside. And they look so good, like yummy. Let's have a taste. Mmm. 
they taste so good. Seriously, this is one of the best things that I've baked in my life. I'm not going to hide it, I think these turned out amazing. I'm going to bring one to my mom and my sister, I'm going to, to my mom's place in a bit and I can't wait to hear what my mom thinks about them, and my sister of course, because I think they turned out amazing. Amazing! Like, once again I really hope you enjoyed this video, I think it was so much fun to make and the results are just great. I'm so sorry you can't like have a taste yourself. I would, I would love to share with you but you aren't here. So I think you should go and make some yourself, it's definitely worth it. But thank you so much for watching guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!